Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. Our James Webb Space Telescope is now out of the historic Chamber A vacuum facility at our Johnson Space Center in Houston after completing cryogenic testing designed to ensure the telescope works well in the cold, airless environment of space. Set to launch in 2019, Webb will study every phase in the history of our universe, starting with the first luminous glows following the Big Bang. The Mars 2020 rover we're building looks a lot like its predecessor, Curiosity. The two share some of the same systems and hardware, but Mars 2020 will be even better equipped to seek out signs of ancient life on the Red Planet. Mars 2020 will carry new landing technology to avoid hazards, cutting-edge instruments to search for biosignatures on a microbial scale, and ground-penetrating radar to map layers of water and ice up to 30 feet deep. It will also collect samples for possible return to Earth by a future mission. Expedition 5455, the next crew headed to the International Space Station, were in Star City, Russia this week, getting ready for their upcoming launch to the orbiting outpost. NASA astronaut Scott Tango, Anton Shkaplerov of Roscosmos, and Noroshige Kanai of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency are set to launch on December 17th from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. They'll spend four months aboard the space station. NASA and our commercial cargo partner SpaceX are set to launch the next resupply mission to the International Space Station on Friday, December 8th from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft will deliver about 4,800 pounds of cargo to the station and critical science and research, including experiments on synthetic bone material and fiber optics, a space debris sensor, and an instrument to measure solar energy. Data from our Chandra X-ray Observatory and ground-based telescopes have revealed new details about an intriguing source previously thought to be part of the Andromeda Galaxy 2.5 million light-years from Earth. New research shows that the source is actually a very distant object that sits beyond Andromeda, about 2.6 billion light-years from us. It likely also contains a pair of giant black holes in close orbit around each other. The estimated total mass for these two supermassive black holes is about 200 million times that of our sun. Houston, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Our historic Apollo Mission Control Center at the Johnson Space Center in Houston is being completely restored. The restored room will provide a snapshot of how it looked during the Apollo 11 moon landing with the project set to finish in July 2019, in time for the 50th anniversary of Apollo 11. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at www.nasa.gov.